<laughs> Hi everyone, you all right? Yeah. Uh, we went out today. We went to where did we go? Went to Tesco, as per usual. Then we went to I don't remember where we went. Oh, we went to Whitebrook. <clears throat> and we had a walk walk around B and M. Yeah. Well managed to get one or two items from there. We got some some pal uh, a pack of cork for I think it had eight cans of cherry cork in it and uh, yeah then after that we went to, <coughs> to food warehouse next door and I got some yeah I got some yogurts from food warehouse called otherwise cold as Iceland I must admit you're bloody cold up there absolutely freezing oh and by the way some good news some really good news um I I managed to get from staff at BNM BNM um wall lower audley where the, where the ice arena is they're going to rebuild the store yeah so they're going to put a new roof on it and redo the inside and yeah redo it so they are basically turning around and doing redoing it because the amount of people who shopped there at Lower Audley um, they bought a lot of stuff I mean bought a lot of stuff it took a hell of a lot of trade from Asda it really did um, so this is the reason why they are turning round and getting this done but that's just that's just not it. We also found out today that the town centre Wilco store uh, is going to be taken by B and M. Which brand they're going to use for that? I'm not very sure. But there are rumours, but there's just rumours at this moment in time, that we have, we have one Heron Foods in Blackburn, and that's Shadsworth. And it could be one of them. Yeah? It might do. Might do. And I think if if they take that, <clears throat> I think it would do pretty well. But they're going to have to monitor it because they don't want to duplicate the same stuff that they're selling at their other stores. 
because there's um, one on the way into Oz Ozzle Twistle. Yeah, they have one there, and uh, they don't want to uh, duplicate what they've already got. I've been to the Preston one, back of the bus station. Um, that one has a frozen food section. Could they bring a frozen food pot to one of the Blackburn stores? We don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens there. And be good if they could. Yeah. Because I reckon if Marks and Spencer's uh, pulls out, they could even take that if they um, if they could. You know, but there's been a lot of rumours about uh, Marks and Spencers when they move out. Um, I'm just waiting to see what happens about that. But one of the other rumours that's been going going round is that uh, Blackburn with Darwin could end up uh, buying it and move the market. Yeah, and put it down, you know, give it the all three, all three, maybe four floors of it. Yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. So, I'm just doing some predictions here. Um, I... I saw a documentary online about, I think it was Electronic Boutique, um, about, uh, about, about stuff on disc and stuff. Yeah, it was quite interesting. We had, we had one in Blackburn. It's where it used to be where I'm trying to think where it where it was. Oh yeah, it's where Subway is now, where you go to the, on the path to the the uh, amenities, the toilets. It used to be there, so which is quite. It had quite a big st storeroom, and uh, yeah, and they were talking about uh, physical discs and stuff like that. Yeah, CEX, CEX has uh, took that uh, thing, took that f for best type, best place to get pre-owned games because they've all like game has been told to sell off everything that's pre-owned so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that so I'm just uh, waiting to see what happens yeah so, these are just predictions at the moment. So, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, go in a, in a bit. Um, we didn't stay in town for very long because it got that damn cold. It was horrendous. I've never felt the, that type of cold before. But uh, I did today. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to disappear and I'll see you in the next one.